Hello, in this video, I'll try to demystify the LRDI section or DILR section. As you would know, DILR or LRDI has been the most unpredictable section in CAT over the last couple of years. <clears throat> Uh, because it is so unpredictable, a lot of theories and myths start developing about whether you can improve DILR or whether you can not improve DILR, whether you can learn DILR or whether you cannot learn DILR. As a result of which, a lot of energy of the students get wasted in solving topics or techniques or figuring out formulas, relations, which are actually not going to be useful in the actual examination. Now, <laughs> we would like you to... Uh, actually go through this, you can call it a study plan, you can call it like a planner, etc. on how to go about tracking this particular examination, sort of like a method to the madness, so to speak. Now, if you do like this video, do share it with your friends who are preparing for CAT 2019 and other MBA entrance examinations. We would also uh, like you to have a look at our LRDI course. We call it the ultimate LRDI course for 2019. Uh, just to tell you about the results of 2018, more than 30% of our students who are enrolled for the LRDI course got more than 90 percentile or above in CAT 2018. So let's go and see what we can do with the LRDI section. Now, before you start preparing for the LRDI section, I would really urge you to go and look at what actually gets asked in CAT. Thankfully, CAT 2017 and in CAT 2018, both the slots, the entire question paper were provided by the IIMs. As a result of which, you can figure out exactly what comes up in the DILR section. If you want to look at the complete video solutions as well as the question paper, I've put out the link in the description to this video. You can have a look at it. It's a free course which is available by us. You can have a look at what type of questions do actually come, how to go about solving it, and what type of preparation is needed to reach that particular level of DILR efficiency. Now, if you have gone through the CAT 2017 and 2018 question papers and the solutions, there is one thing which is striking. Irrespective of the type of questions, the area which is being tested, etc., there is one part which is really, really standing out across both the slots and both the years is that you cannot have more than two, max three, sets in a particular slot which can be classified purely as di or purely as lr now in the traditional sense lr is something which requires you to uh, use your logic rather than your numerical ability di is something which requires you to use your numerical ability versus hard logic okay unfortunately over the last uh, couple of years this has been merged you will be very lucky to find a pure lr set or a pure di set they are still there but usually most of the sets are a combination so even people struggle whether to classify them as a di or a pure lr set now what we have tried to do is we have tried to figure out what are the major areas where these where these questions come up over the last couple of years and see what do we need to study and how we can improve on those particular areas <clears throat> 